Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. In case you're wondering, why is this Alpha 7? Well, this is a video that I'm recording on July 10th. It is way in advance of the actual release date of the video, and that has to do with me expecting my first child, which might or might not have been born at this point. It's currently July, so I don't know, but the due date is somewhere in September, late September, so I'm making sure I have some content pre-scheduled, and with that, make sure that you guys still have some content when I am uh, sleep deprived and potentially unable slash unwilling to do much about YouTube in those first two, three weeks. Now, if you have a scenario for me, then please send it in through the link down below in the description. Please don't send it in through the comment section because I want to keep the comment section about this particular video, not so much about the entire scenario that you might have in mind. Um, keep in mind that I get a lot of scenarios. I currently have about 360, 365 scenarios sitting in my mailbox, and those get added to on a weekly basis with a number of about 20 to 30. So the amount of scenarios keeps growing, but the amount of scenarios that I actually do in a week does not grow <laughs> at the same rate. So it might take me a while, if at all, to get around to your scenario. So please don't start complaining in the, the comment section going, oh, when are you going to get around to my scenario? I don't know. It might be a while. It might be never. We'll just have to see how it goes. The scenario that I'm doing today, however, is by Foggy, and it is called Breakthrough. No time left. After a few successful raids, your fuel is getting low. Even worse, after the last battle, your battlecruiser has a small fuel leak. Your task force is heading straight to friendly territory for repairs. At least, that was the plan. One of the ships spots an enemy fleet. You can't fight them directly, otherwise your battlecruiser would probably run out of fuel. The only way to break through the enemy line or rather, the only way is to break through the enemy line with full speed. In order to accomplish this, I will have a battlecruiser, three light cruisers, and three destroyers. I'll be taking on a battleship, a heavy cruiser, two light cruisers, and four destroyers from the British. Now, originally the scenario says I have 1940s tech, they have 1930s tech. Um, I'm going to give them 1940s tech as well, just to see what happens. Starting range is 10,000 meters. And my objective, and this is where it gets interesting, is that I have to pass all enemy ships, slash their, their starting point or spawn, with the battlecruiser and at least one other ship and sail 4,000 meters away from them to win. I have to sail directly towards the enemy, only evasive maneuvers are allowed. So I am not allowed to, or rather, I am encouraged not to try a full broadside for torpedoes or guns. I'll have to be building the battlecruiser, which was designed for raiding convoys. So uh, the battlecruiser should have main guns on the stern of the ship. At least that's what, um, let's see, that's what Foggy writes in his scenario description. I'm not exactly sure why I would want to have main guns on the stern of my battlecruiser if I was attacking convoys. I'd say if I'm chasing down convoys, I want the guns to be on the bow of the ship. Anyway, let's get to designing a German battlecruiser. Modern battlecruiser with, uh, in this case, since I'm raiding convoys, I'll set it as a scenario range for a very long range. And propulsion, how much speed do I get? Let's say 35 knots. That should be more than enough to intercept any kind of a convoy. Force boilers, auxiliary 3, shaft 2. Of course, the usual setup for armor protection. Now, it is a convoy raider, so I'm not going to give it a ton of torpedo protection. Just enough to maybe sustain one or two hits without taking massive damage. And of course, the problem does lie in that the enemy has destroyers. And I am supposed to chase down said destroyers. Which is going to make life pretty damn interesting in the next couple of moments as I'm going to pass right through that formation. Right, main tower, secondary tower, how far can I put this thing back? Well, not that far. What sort of an armament would a battlecruiser have that's going to chase down enemy convoys? Would that be 4, 14 inch, 13 inch? I'd say something smaller potentially. Because I'm not trying to penetrate severely armored ships. I'm trying to puncture through lightly defended convoys. 
and you don't need a lot of penetration for that, but you do need more rate of fire so you can disappear faster. 12 inch guns. That's what she'll have. 12 inch guns. Uh, I have 41,000 total available. That is really quite a lot. That was a pretty heavy funnel. Engine efficiency, 79.6%. Unfortunately, I don't really find a way to boost that even more. The only way that I could do that is to move the main, or sorry, to move the secondary tower apart and set up another funnel there. But this funnel just flushes out almost immediately into the secondary tower, so I'm not sure how much of a benefit that's going to be. It does give me 100% engine efficiency, and that is something that I want, because if I don't have it, then trying to turn and accelerate or slow down is going to be much harder. Simply because you need that acceleration to keep your speed up, or rather get it back up, when you actually get torpedoed and when you're trying to make a turn. Okay, other guns that would be handy on a Commerce Raider are 6-inch guns. Unfortunately, they cannot quite fit there. Alright, I'll also set up a triple here. Do I need to go with 5? Yeah, 5 does want to fit. And I can probably put some... What is that? 3-inch up there? Yes, 3-inch here. I think that's pretty much it. 2-inch? Oh, they still have some slots. Yeah, that just about covers it. Alright, I still have a lot of displacement left. How about some underwater torpedo tubes? I am supposed to sail directly towards the enemy, which is risky. But it also allows me, potentially, to try and torpedo the enemy as I'm moving by them. Let's also set up a small torpedo tube section there and here. That still gives me 6,000 tons. Maybe I can just reduce that displacement. Oh, not that much. 39,000 tons? What's the limit? It's not 39,000. It's 39... Yeah, it is 39,000. Alright, so I still have 5,000 tons left. What am I going to do with all that? Well... 40 knots. Engine efficiency still 100%. Uh, still 3,000 tons left. Well, let's tack on some more belt armor, because especially at a starting range of 10,000 meters and an objective where I sail right past the enemy, I am going to need that. Can I go for 7.5 on both? Yes. Alright, turrets to full. 15 inch. Secondaries are also going to be pretty important. 9 inch, conning tower, heavily defended. Gotta keep that accuracy up. And now we're starting to approach the limits of our design. 8 inch belt armor, 8 inch belt extended. Still 200 tons ish. What's my turning circle like? 756 meters. God, you're not quick, are you? Um, that's too much. But it would push down that turning circle a bit more. Alright, this is what we'll roll with. The ship is called Mackenzie, And she's going to try and bypass an allied shipping fleet. Or an allied fleet. Let's see what the AI built. And more importantly, what the... For oh god, we are actually setting towards them. Well, this is better. This means I don't have to turn around. Alright, so I'm going to go there. And with the exception of a few small maneuvers, I am not allowed to maneuver. 
We are actually catching up on the British fleet. This is the British battleship, I'm imagining. It has an interesting setup with most armament on the stern, not the bow. Which, in this case, is going to serve her really well. These, I imagine, are the heavy cruisers. Oh, that's a lot of torpedoes. I don't like that one bit. Destroyers. One section of torpedoes for midships. And for the rest, it's mostly a gun build. They didn't have any light cruisers, right? Oh, they did. sure which ones are the lights and the heavies. They have one heavy cruiser and two light cruisers. DD, cruiser, heavy cruisers, DDs. All right. All right. Uh, Mackenzie, pay attention. Main target is not, in fact, the battleship. Main target is going to be the light cruiser. Secondary armament, target that destroyer. We have light cruisers Gazelle, Schwalbe, and Bremse on the assists. Pretty quick, 36 knots. I'm gonna have to slow down the Mackenzie a bit to make sure the other ships can keep up. Uh, these guys are armed with 7 inch guns, 3 inch secondaries, torpedoes, and more torpedoes. Ooh, interesting setup here. Quintuples on the stern. <clears throat> That's nice. DDs, what do you guys have? Torpedoes galore, one amidships, one on the stern, and one random tube amidships as well. Okay. We seem to already have inflicted some damage against that light cruiser. All right, steady as she goes. Mackenzie already launched some of her torpedoes. Probably at one of these guys over here. I think the light cruiser, but by the time that the torpedoes get there, that whole formation will have shifted. Still, it might cause them a bit of a distraction. What sort of sonar system do you have? Sonar 2, what did I put on this? Sonar 2. I can't quite tell you how fast those torpedoes are yet. and opening up. And damaging the secondary tower, but I imagine that was a secondary hit, otherwise we'd be seeing a lot more than 0 0.9 damage. That is really very low. And I still can't quite figure out if this is the light or the heavy cruiser, but I think it might be the heavy. Now, I'm not allowed to do major evasive maneuvers, but I will make some turns avoid getting hit fully by the torpedo strat. That's definitely going to come out. There we go. That's definitely going to come out of these ships. And pretty much regardless of what type of torpedoes they have, they will be in range. That's going to make my life very difficult. Looks like the DDs have also sent out their torpedoes. Right? Where though? Type? 63 knots. Oh, so I should be looking farther ahead. Where the hell are the torpedoes? Oh, here! Okay. Well, we might be able to torpedo the battleship. That'd be nice. Yeah, they're thinking that they're torpedoing a battleship, so that's really good. Uh, DDs, turn in. Those are outbound torpedoes. Mackenzie back to starboard. Light cruisers, this way, please. Light cruisers don't seem to be the main target of the fleet. That honor is left to the destroyers. Questionable honor at that. We're doing pretty consistent damage against this ship. Heavy cruisers taking some damage. I wonder if we're going to be able to torpedo that battleship properly. That would help. That would help a lot. Uh-oh. 
Incoming torpedoes. I'm not allowed to maneuver too violently, so I'll have to try and squeeze through there. But that's not going to be easy. And there's a second spread on the way. I think I might need to turn hard to starboard. And then about there, turn hard to port. Oh crap, there's more. Okay, maybe not turn hard to starboard. Turn hard to port. There are so many torpedoes in the water that this is going to be a very rough maneuver. Let's see, I maneuver here. At the last possible moment, I would have to make a sharp starboard turn to try and avoid this salvo. But the Mackenzie takes a while to listen to her rudder. I'm going to slow her down. Hopefully having her listen to her rudder a little better. Trying to squeeze in this gap here and here. Not too quickly, Mackenzie. Maximum. I will take a hit. There's no avoiding that. I'll probably take another. Because this torpedo is unavoidable. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Looks like the battleship might have been torpedoed. She has triple damaged engines, flooding, and fire. Now, my Mackenzie has a decent anti flooding system. Oh, fuck, there's more. With a damaged rudder, my life is gonna get very difficult here. Light Cruiser Lion just torpedoed me again with 48 null torpedoes, 19 inches. Any luck with the rest of the torpedoes here? Crap, the gazelle? Oh. Yeah, I was a little too busy. There goes the Schwalbe. Fuck me. I was a little too busy trying to keep my battle cruiser alive to figure out that maybe the light cruisers behind them were also going to have a bit of a problem on their hands. Oh, there's more? Holy shit. Schwalbe's down. Engage and destroy the lion, please. Do so now. He's outbound? Outbound. Mackenzie's still flooding. I'm really hoping that she's not going to get torpedoed again. Oh no, but she is. Those are the torpedoes from the light cruiser. She's going to eat three. Well, that's pretty much GG then, isn't it? Lines down. That's the first British warship that I've sunk. Australia. Looks like she might have just sent out another spread. Considering that her quintuples are reloading. This is really bad. I don't find that the Mackenzie's going to survive this one. It is a really interesting scenario, I'll give you that. The way that it was written, saying, hey, you're running out of fuel, you have a fuel leak. Get through that formation, because you have no other option. If you turn, you're going to be out of fuel, and you'll be just dead. I think that's very interesting. It's making use of the game mechanics to some extent, and also creating some artificial uh, limitations for the scenario. Now, I lost my battle cruiser. That means I lost the scenario. Of course, the game is just going to continue until all my ships are dead. But it pretty much comes down to that. My ships are gone. Why are you not launching? Ten. Six. You should have torpedo range. My battle cruiser is dead. My light cruiser is going to get either torpedoed or gunned down, or both. And the British fleet... Well... They didn't really bother too much. By the looks of it. Sure, I sunk one light cruiser, but it could have been a hell of a lot better than that for me. So, uh, a quick scenario today, simply because I lost it so damn fast. <laughs> Foggy, thank you for sending it in. Creative scenario, I like it. And for those of you watching, I hope you enjoyed the scenario. Uh, let me know if you tried for yourself how it's going to turn out. How are you going to do? And is it going to be possible for you to win this scenario or not? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed the vid. I hope you <laughs> enjoyed me getting torpedoed this quick. And I shall see you guys soon for another video.